Heyo and welcome in today. Today you're joined here by me, Daniel, and welcome in. I am painting a Ghostbusters dog, um, a Doberman. Now you will see me draw a Doberman, I'm pretty sure, last week on a uh, 90 minute challenge that I did. And this one is a Doberman as a Ghostbusters character. Uh, Zibberman, I think his name is, um, but he's the dark colored skin guy in the group, and, um, with his character and everything, I just thought of a dope man for him, um, and there's, um, some other dogs and things I'm gonna go check in there as well, I was re really interested in making this dope man into a Ghostbusters character, um, there's a lot of other dogs now that I'm looking at. I'm like, I want to make that dog into a Ghostbusters. I'm like, which ones do I do? Um, yeah, so it's it's fun. It's um, I'm not going for this similar do the pugs all the time and things like that. Um, but anyway, um, today I'm in here and I'm talking about a certain topic. So, you know, today's topic is... Um, why and how, how and why, how and why you should support the art community. Um, you know, as a artist here, um, I am a creator who makes YouTube videos here to help a lot of artists, um, out the best I can, you know, and, um, over the years, I have, you know, been a part of the, the art community, whether it's, um, locally in my local area, or, um, internationally, or, um, you know, local, wherever kind of country you're from, per se, you know, um, yeah, you can, you can do it in many ways, support your community, it is, um, you know, We'll start off with kind of how how you can support your art community. Um, you know, there's many ways to do this. This could be as little as going to your local art shop and buying some paints and things just to have some fun with, um, rather than you know buying it from um, say a big warehouse kind of shop. You know, like that can be good. I remember when I went to course, um, I used to go check out the art shop across the road, um, and, you know, some of their stuff were a little bit more pricey, uh, but they were a bit of quality, um, they had, you know, all the stuff in that you needed, or, you know, like paper stocks, good paper stocks, not just the standard paper stocks, um, quality paints, you had all the, like, Winston Newtons, and all the, um, uh, color pencil choices, the grippy, um, pencils, as well as the graphite things, they always had, like, different stocks, so they're really good, um, if they, you know, if you needed something, uh, really cool and interesting new products that were coming out, like, at the time, um, I was playing around with medias, and one media was these uh, chameleon pens. I'm not sure if that's still a thing, um, but they were quite cool um, and interesting. They do take a little bit of time to kind of get used to, and um, for me, they weren't my cup of tea. <laughs> I did play around with them for a little bit, and yeah, it was a, a bit of fun. Um, but yeah, that was a cool shop just to go in and get some art supplies and things like that. And it's always good. Um, as well as within that shop, I did also take some classes. Um, and that's what you can find sometimes in local um, art shops and things like that. Sometimes they do offer um, either places you can go or they offer um, other advice that not all... Um, not all um, shops offer, you know, like, um, yeah, when you go to a big warehouse and you go 
to the paint section or whatever um there's only so much that the people there can tell you you know like the uh acrylic paints uh they work well with water watercolor paints you know there's only so much does it work you know um the pigments the, there's only so much that their details can go into because um it's a big warehouse like place that's just in general um usually uh, you know it's not 100 percent obviously but in the art shops yeah you're going to get a little bit more detail on or you know um how to use them a little bit sometimes uh how they look on the the paint um what they're good for using you know um uh, some of the products they use themselves you know um as an art shop some of them are artists sometimes um i don't know if they're run by kind of artists it's really cool because then they can talk about you know what they use kind of just for uh, like gouches using gouche white is a is a good way to um do your highlights and in, in some paintings and things so that's the traditional kind of supporting and that kind of thing which is really cool to do so you know if you're doing that keep it up you know um it's very rewarding if you're an artist um and creator and yeah you know that's you know, the first thing you can do if you if you're a traditional artist i mean if you're a digital artist you can kind of do that too because you can go in and look at other people they offer brush packs for all your um digital programs like photoshop and um that kind of thing so um yeah more on house i guess um supporting small artists and big artists um and you know why for that <laughs> as some of these are hows and some of these are whys you know um you know with supporting creators um you get enjoyment of um you know just supporting them being happy for them that they're you know doing stuff you can get things out of it um with some artists that you can support you know you do get um like some of their paintings that are like photoshop layers and everything so you can see um how they painted things and how they've created it um so that you could create it yourself or use it to better your skills um it's always great to be a part of a little kind of community whether it's small or big um of, of followers and people to help you out in your journey because you know we shouldn't all be the in this on by ourselves it is very challenging to just stick it out by yourself um and eventually, you know, wear yourself down if you just stick to yourself um, and stick to just kind of creating by yourself. Um, having others to help you out and give you advice and talk to about some of the either some of the challenges you've been having or just talking in general about art and illustration. Um, it's lots of, one, it's lots of fun to just sit there and, and talk and, uh, about creativity and um, everything like that, which is an, a reason why I kind of run this YouTube channel where I have artists that come in and I chat with them and um, everything, which is really cool. I haven't had uh, artists in for a little while. I'm kind of missing that a little bit. Um, but, yeah, I've been a little bit busy um scheduling that all in and all that stuff so it's it's a bit at the moment i'm just trying to keep up with getting these paintings done um so you know i'm just at the moment kind of um painting and chatting about topics i will get an artist in and i will be contacting artists um to come and chat with me and i do just every now and again like to chat with artists about things is really it's really great to to have someone out there that does um either you know even just saying hey and you know how things are going and um you know finding out what kind of roles some people are having in the industry and things like that is is awesome 
um i enjoy it and yeah it's great to to have that so there's a good good reason why and how you should be in the um community because it's great to to have that there um most artists most creators are very kind of supportive of each other and um sharing and everything like that as much as they can be because obviously ndas and all that um but it's sharing and is usually quite kind um most of the time it's <laughs> I, I, I don't fully know about everyone <laughs> but most of the time yeah everyone i've i've chatted to um is very happy to chat and um and every now and again i'd pop in and say hey and you know they're quite happy to to say hey back and everything so yeah usually most creators are quite happy um to support each other um in the ways they can i mean i see it online on like places like linkedin you see all the artists on there and they're always commenting on their work and on youtube um a lot of creators do um and go on their videos and not just like like share and subscribe and all that stuff but they comment as well um about their art or about their you know videos that they're making and it's awesome to see obviously there is the other side where you know these people hating on it but um you know <laughs> some people you know are just doing that and unfortunately it's there and it's always will be there there's people can look at art and stuff and not going to like it um but it's awesome to support people out there in the best way you can um because yeah it does give you a lot um in the end you know it looks good on youtube because you know people get to know you're um a good person um if you support the right artists and the right creators eventually um you know it, it does come back on you that um you help this artist out at a at a certain time in their life and um eventually later on when they get a role where they can help you out they'll help you out usually how it goes <laughs> most of the time the most of the stories i've heard and mostly um things like even in um when i was doing course some of the design students and things you know we would help each other out um and it was just a great environment to have so just being a part of a little community whether it's big or small like a art community um is great and it does um help you out i think I myself probably after this need to go back and connect a little bit more um you know I do try my best but I just get you know you get totally worked up and just creating stuff and just getting going um doing your own work and things like that which is all you know fine and dandy um but just reaching out and and you know um chatting with other people and um is great you know i just yeah it's awesome to to have <laughs> artists on my channel where i do chat with them and um just share some of the things and experiences that i've had in the past about getting better at art and just you know um the struggles i've had with you know um painting different things and um going from traditional to digital you know all these things that um yeah i've overcome as well getting <laughs> better at drawing humans slowly and um giving myself different challenges and different paintings um and building up a better portfolio um yeah even i've had a portfolio review which i'm looking at getting another one i think um shortly to help me out because you know you can always improve on on things um and that's the thing you know we're always improving 
Um, and at the moment, you know, there's this new AI technology that can just create images at the moment. Um, and a lot of artists are worried about it and some aren't, <laughs> which is cool um, that, you know, they're not worried about it. Um, and some are as much because, you know, what, what someone could just type in this, this sentence of what they want and for like they've got the image. Which can be looking like very scary because it's like, well, why do we need Iris if, you know, we can just create this image. Um, but with those, the, you know, some of the images isn't, isn't so good. Um, obviously, um, the fun of creativity isn't there, you know. Um, I mean, it's great to have um, the creativity there and that someone spent hours of time creating this image creating this movie character um you know it's it's nothing i don't think can take that away you know i think it's awesome to go in and see you know how dreamworks makes their movies you know if a robot just made the movie you'll be like eh you know, it's just another movie, but, you know, if an actual team of artists and, um, awesome people, uh, make a cool movie, you'd be totally interested in it, you know, um, you know, when you, we hear, like, a new movie's coming out, and you're, like, from the creators of, you know, <laughs> it, it's like, oh, okay, I might enjoy it because I like this movie, um you know versus or oh, from a robot you know it's a lot of difference there so for me i'm not too worried about it but it's there um and i think yeah we all just can support each other it's a great feeling to support artists um how you can you can local art shops um support small creators as well as big creators as you know um just by or well really the big creators kind of support the smaller ones in a way because they a lot of big creators do give out um you know say for instance like bobby chio he runs schoolism he has lots of tutorials on youtube as well as lots of art advice and things that he gives out and lots and lots of things that he does for the community um yeah so there's a lot of artists out there that do um that are quite big in the community and give out to the community um which is great to have you know all the big big artists that do um give it's it's i think it's just a part of being an artist really it is um it's a great way to just connect with others and and i think it does help you become a better artist in the end um, because doing it alone and just being a creator on your own um is a tough and um more challenging path than it has to be you know if you had others to help you to others in any which way they can it does become a little bit more easier because you've got someone to talk to about it um they're supporting you through this journey um someone to you just give you advice and just um you know give you a little bit of a push up if you need it or something or a heads up on or you know um <laughs> have you thought about this you know um even you know just doing twitch streams every now and again is awesome when someone does come in and, and mentions you know one of my drawings doesn't look too shabby with this looking there or, so, or something you know not being horrible but you know um so with this painting it someone said it would look quite odd with the you know with the gun where it was placed and everything and it'll look really odd and i was like oh, okay 
I was like, oh, that's just how I drew it at the time. And I was like, mm, I see what he's saying. And um, in the end, that made a good decision for me to be like, okay, obviously this isn't working. So just taking a step back and deciding where to push it and how to, to change it to yeah, <laughs> not make it look so colored. But yeah, something like that, not making it... Um, and also, you know, making it fit right as well, because at the time, the gun wasn't placed right, and it just, it doesn't, wasn't working for what I wanted, um, so I think this is, you know, kind of the best, um, <laughs> angle at the moment, um, possibly actually, it could change in the, the near future as well possibly but yeah you know this is my painting at the moment i hopefully you've enjoyed it and seen it being created and me chatting about you know supporting how and why you should put support your art community yeah the art community your, your community um so keep creating keep drawing and see you in the next video